Hi, my name is Sydney Kratzis, my partner's name is Kendall Yost, and this is our charity business sales scenario project. So, we worked on this through the most of the year, so we are going to split the section for the presentation portion into four parts. The four parts of this presentation are the introduction, holiday mug sale, raffle basket, and future plans that never got completed. The second section, now that we're entering, is the holiday mug sale. We did this one in, okay, so our team, to give a little bit of context, is the Owls team, which have been doing their um, soap sale to, as a thing around Christmas time, and they do a donation. They used to do it to the American um, Cancer Society, but now they did it to the St. To Saint Jude's. Um, and we decided to donate along with them as that was a, another cause that we'd been working on through about a month at that point um, to donate to. So we thought that we'd also put in our contributions by doing the sale. So during this, this time of year, especially for kids our age, it can be a little bit difficult to, um, <laughs> it can be a little bit difficult to manage the um, gifts, gifts that you can get for people because you ha if you're getting them for your parents, you can't just drive to the store. You don't have a car at this point. So we thought that we need to do something to allow kids like us to get gifts for their parents that they wouldn't know about because so it'd be a little bit more of a surprise and it also going to be a little bit more convenient for, for that holiday season. So we decided to make our holiday mugs which were mugs that came with a small bundle in like a little Ziploc baggie of some mini marshmallows and you have a hot chocolate packet, a mini candy cane, and then you get a cute little Christmas mug. And we ended up making a decent amount of money for the sale. We actually got ended up making $143.50, which I think turned out pretty well for our first sale. We were very proud because we ended up selling out of all our mugs. We, it took us a little while to get set up. We have a actual Excel sheet, which I'm going to insert right here. As written, names are covered for privacy. Okay, <laughs> and it, uh, we were very proud of how it turned out. We ended up um, learning a few things from the sale, specifically how to keep our money a little better because we ended up, we had to keep in like a little, um, like a mini jar and it was a little messy. So we ended up changing that later to keep it stored in an envelope, but it really helped with um, understanding how to do with customers and what they want and adjusting to what they want. So we also, we got many different suggestions about how the storage, we originally had them taped in these little bags, but then we ended up getting the suggestion to do Ziploc bags, which are honestly way more sanitary. We spent a while doing, um, uh, just cleaning up the mugs and doing things like that um, to, <laughs> Um, we ended up doing many different things to clean up the mugs. We spent days wa hand washing them and hand packaging every one. And we did, the, we had the, our cute little logos, which again, I'm going to insert right here. I thought it was very cute. We designed it together because we also both put, decided on this project because we both have a love for graphic design. And um, we thought that that would be a cool way to intricate it. In, um, to add it into the project by do, in designing our own logo, which we thought was very cute. Um, oh, wait, I forgot to mention it. Our imaginary nonprofit organization or company is called Sweets for Society because our main idea was to do like food sales, which actually ended up being a decent portion of what our um, sales were because of these mugs, which I, oh, I haven't inserted any photos yet. Here's the photos of our mugs. Um, it ended up being really cute. Um, so that's all for number our first sale. So now I'm going to leave it to Kendall to do the project. Hi, I'm Kendall Yost, and I worked on the charity business sale project with Sydney Kratzis for our scenario. So today I'm going to be talking about our second sale and our third sale. So for the second sale, we did a raffle, which looked like this, and it was like a movie theme raffle baskets which had like candy food drinks there was a blanket and we sold it around valentine's day so some of the stuff in the basket was valentine's day related stuff inside there were two movies a double feature of grown-ups and grown-ups 2 and the huntsman on blu-ray four boxes of candy skittles m m's swedish fish and sour patch kids four bags of microwavable popcorn 
two popcorn containers, two Snapple drinks, two Pringles cans, one bag of Hershey Kisses, a soft blanket with images of an avocado couple, and one metal basket. We used an online spinning wheel and we took your, you we took how much you bought and we put in, did math, put in percentage, we put like five people on the wheel at a time. We spun that, it was all equal, like if you spent um, five dollars on tickets, you would have a better chance than except if, for if you spent two two dollars on tickets. So if we we spun that, and then we took all the groups of five and the winners, and we put them in a wheel, and then we spun that, and that was the winner of the raffle. Here is a picture of the raffle winners and the groups and stuff. Again, names are covered for privacy, and we decided not to draw from a hat to avoid having to write all the names down and draw the drawing back farther. And then for our third sale, we never got to do it because it was going to be a PSSA sale where we sold like stress balls and um, food and stuff. And so we talked to the uh, lunch, the main lunch person to see what we could sell as food and she gave us a list. And we talked to the principal to see what we were allowed to sell, like were we allowed to sell stress balls and stuff. And so we got all that done. We talked to lunch. She, she gave us our stuff, so we were gonna go back and have another meeting with the principal to tell him. We talked to the lunch lady, and she told us what we got to know. And that was the week before we had the stay-at-home order. And so we were gonna have the meeting the next week, but then we had the stay-at-home order, so we never actually got to complete our third task because PSAs got canceled, school got canceled, everything got canceled, and we couldn't finish it. So we, that wasn't our, our idea for our third sale, but it never got to be finished. Bye.